The aim of the course is really to give the Ukrainian crews the best amount of knowledge we can within the restricted amount of time we've got, noting that they need to get back to start fighting again. And it's designed to give them a firm foundation in how to fight the tank and how to live off the tank as well. So we've done four separate courses, similar to that which we do in the UK, courses for the commander, the gunner, the driver and the operator. And at the end of the, the, sort of the technical training, so learning which button does what and how to make the gun fire, we'll do a consolidation package which will allow them to work together as a crew for the first time, fire the tank on ranges, uh, and then they'll return to uh, the Ukraine to marry up with the vehicles that the, uh, the government, the British government is giving them. MPI, the main point of impact is when we're firing at our coax. I can't think of another time where we've given tanks to an ally, but nor can I think of another time when uh, when uh, an ally or a, or a friend anyway uh, needs tanks as much as Ukraine does. So the, the purpose of a tank is to predominantly fight other tanks. And so the Ukrainians, when they return to their country, will be using this tank behind me uh, to kill other Russian tanks. And it's very effective at what it does. Yes, so obviously we are obviously trading the Ukrainian drivers. So it's a um, three week course for, for them himself. So normal drivers would take about um, a month, but obviously we're going through the process of how to guide the vehicle on the, on the ground. But also we do maintenance, so like at the moment we're changing um, sprockets, that's a G2 wear and tear, um, but it's a good thing for them. So if that does happen, they've got a way to do it, no knowledge of how to do it in the, in the field. And then guide, uh, drive the vehicle with a commander up top around on the roads or wherever the circuit we have here, and also cross country to obviously aid them driving over the different types of terrain. So low, through low ground, over mounds, um, and also high speed reverse types of stuff. So if they get in contact, they can reverse back safely while the gun will be simulated to be firing um, at the enemy target. Marvelous, Ben, Secretary of Defense of the United Kingdom. It's a very good stop. Thank you very much from Ukraine.